This is intriguing. I'm covering up the return address. But this is a piece of mail from somebody and return address is Jacksonville. And I can tell that they got this address off my website because that's where I use the the zip code, the plus four. They only put three of the numbers, but my website says 10185-0002. That's the first full zip code they gave me when I got this P.O. box 31 years ago. So this appears to be an unsolicited correspondence from somebody who found my website to see what this is about. What's interesting about this, for one thing, is the return address is Jacksonville, Florida. But it looks like it was actually mailed from my zip code, Astoria, 11106. I wonder what that means. Somebody was visiting, I suppose, but... I do know somebody in Jacksonville, but this doesn't look like their... That doesn't look like their return address on the other side of the envelope. I'll shake it up a bit to make sure there's no anthrax in here. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about that, but my post office um, is where the the Tom Brokaw anthrax letter was processed. And from that day forward, that post office ran a pretty tight, secure ship. I guess I'm going to need both hands to open this. It's carefully taped. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> this shouldn't be as hard as I'm making it look. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> well, if you've been tuning in here, you might remember that I left this batch of photos at one of those um, take a book, leave a book things. And they all had my... Uh, contact information on it stamped on rubber stamped on the back so this this thoughtful person decided that these pictures looked important and now she wants to know how did they end up here <laughs> That's, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. And now that I look at this again, she said she found them at 11 p.m. on 31st Ave and 35th Street. That's not where I left these. I left these at a, uh, one of those sh library share things. Take a book, leave a book. I left it up on uh, Broadway, up toward I don't know, maybe 48th Street or something, wherever the Woodside houses are. So she <laughs> she wants to know what the story is with these people and the, these burial sites. This was a, a batch of uh, cemetery photos I got off of eBay a long time ago. And I saved some of them, but decided that these remainders, remainders were not really interesting to me. So I just thought I'd let them set sail, find another interesting party, 
and I also leave stuff like this with my contact info in the spirit of a you know message in a bottle to see if I'll make contact with somebody and if it worked.